<clears throat> and this is American? No, it's Scotch. Oh. Let me read a little bit about this. It's an American Scotch. Well, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Today we are going to be drinking Monkey Shorter, which is a Scottish whiskey. So we're actually going to be, we're actually talking about doing Johnny Walker, but you know what? This got our attention, so yeah, uh, we'll, we're going to try this one. Um, so my name is Gio, this is Matt, and take it away. Yeah, so... Uh... Well, let's just let's just go ahead and pour it and see see what we think. We we've we poured ourselves a little bit of this uh, before when we shot another video, but we didn't really like go in depth with it. Yeah, and we didn't drink it out of these glasses, so you know, it might be different. It might be different. <laughs> oh, so yeah. this is actually the first time I've heard of this mm -hmm. drink um, or this brand, mm -hmm. and also the first time I tasted it earlier, of course, but. First time I taste it. So how'd you hear about it? Um, so I actually heard about it through the Whiskey Vault channel, which is another YouTube channel. Uh, Whiskey Vault, Whiskey Tribe, Crowded Barrel, <laughs> Daniel and Rex. If you know them, you know them. Um, but this, whenever they would do like top 10 videos of like mm -hmm. the 10 most like, uh, like best whiskeys for beginners or uh, best whiskey for the money, like this, this always made the list. Um, and I just, I never tried it until now. And the reason I bought it is because I was at, I went to Specs to buy some, um, to, to try and buy some old Tom gin and they didn't have any, but I also had to buy lime juice. So I was like, oh, while I'm here, I'll just get lime juice. But I just, I felt so weird. Like <laughs> just like going up to the cashier at a liquor store with just lime juice. So I was like, well, I can either, you know, just leave and go buy the lime juice somewhere else, or I can, you know, be that, you know, freak who went to the liquor store to buy lime juice, <laughs> or I can actually get a bottle of liquor so that I don't feel so weird. So I, I opted for that option. Number three. <laughs> yeah. And I, I went ahead and I bought a bottle of liquor so that I wouldn't, you know, be that, that guy who goes to the liquor store for lime juice. And it was this, and it was, it's one that I had always heard them talk about. I was always kind of curious about it, and um, I realized I didn't really have any like, like blended scotch uh, at home except for Johnny Walker Black, which is for me just okay. So I was like, you know what? They're always hyping this up. Let's try it, and uh, you know I liked it on our little mm -hmm. taste that we had before. But you know now we're actually gonna kind of dive into it and see what we think. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it smells very good. Yeah, it has a really good smell. You get a little bit of smoke, but not a lot, which you find yeah. in a lot of scotches. I feel like I'm getting citrus. Like, I don't know if that's just the way I'm smelling or if just all the ones that we've been having these past couple weeks have that citrus note in them. But I feel like I'm getting that again here. I'm getting a very sweet smell. Yeah, I am getting a hint of citrus in it. I feel like on the taste, you got that smoke that you get in a lot of scotches. It's not a lot, there's not a lot of it. Like it's just a little, like a little hint of smoke. Like, you know, if you, if you're comparing it to like Lagavulin or something like that, then like, <laughs> but. This, yeah, I have this, no idea what that is, but yep. Oh. Um, it's like. Laga, laga, laga boo -boo. <laughs> laga it's laga very bullen. it's very smoky uh, but if you're comparing it to something or PD I guess but if you're comparing it to something like that um, like there's there's really nothing here as, as far as smoke goes what was the one that I tried that was like just it tastes like you're drinking smoke it might have been that one laga it was like it was like the little test Thing that you had, like those small bottles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a, a smaller bottle of Lagavulin. Oh, I'm pretty yeah, sure that's, I. That's probably. The one I yeah, I'm pretty sure I had you try that one. It was like just basically drinking smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been that or the Kalila. I don't know, one of those. But well, um, in the future, you may or may not see it. Yeah, um, it was probably Lagavulin. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one is. A, it has a very nice flavor. Um, very easy to go down. There's not a big. Yeah. 
It's not a burn I mean, or anything. There is a bite, but I mean, it's almost like it like complements the flavor. Yeah, I can't I can't say it's a perfect bite because some people like more bite, some people like less bite. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, to me, the, the bites is there. It is there, but I mean, it's not overbearing. It's not like oh, no, like I can't drink this. Yeah. But, yeah. I feel like this. Like I'm thinking about like the videos that I've seen this in, like you know, best whiskey for beginners. I feel like this would be a very good way to introduce someone to Scotch, like someone who maybe is familiar with bourbon, who's trying to find their way into Scotch. Mm-hmm. Like if they're like, yeah, I like bourbon, but I've never really you know dabbled in Scotch that much. I might, I might, you know, pour them this one or recommend that one. Well, a lot of bourbon has that like kind of like that smoky taste, right? Mm, I think I think that's more of the oak impact mm. from bourbon because they don't because they actually smoke scotch like the malt gets gets ac- they actually like smoke it oh, okay. um whereas that doesn't happen with bourbon so i think with that it's more of the wood impact from the barrel that you're getting with the bourbon whenever you whenever you think you're getting like a smoky flavor mm-hmm. it's more of the wood impact with with here you get both because th- they age it in barrels just like they do bourbon yeah um bourbon barrels really um but then they also smoke it now i thought i read on the front of the bottle here <clears throat> let's see rooted in malt whiskey history and inspired by maltman who's still turning it up batches um monkey shoulder is blended in small batches of space sides finest single malt whiskeys so this is a blend meaning there's not a monkey shoulder distillery out there there's like a um uh, what's what's the best way to describe it there's a maybe a a facility a monkey shoulder facility but they blend other whiskeys so they may get you know whiskeys from who knows how many distilleries and blend them together to create monkey shoulder Mm -hmm. and it says batches of space sides find a single malt so space sides that's gonna be um like your your Glenfiddich, Glenlivet. Oh, okay. Um, um, I'm trying to think what else. Is Dalmore Space Side? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but those the Space Side, um, um, Cragenmore, I believe that's the Space Side. Those are going to be like your um, kind of lighter scotches. Mm-hmm. Remember when we had our Scotch Week uh, back when we were doing the old format? Yeah. We tried. Dewars, Johnny Walker, Chivas, and then we tried Glenfiddich and Glenlivet. Yeah, and I think we both like the Glenlivet of yeah. those. Um, so that's a space side. Okay, that's probably why I like this one then. Yeah, but they, there's something in there because Glenlivet. I feel like this has a, a touch more smoke than Glenlivet. So I don't know. I feel like Cragamore. I think Cragamore is a space side. I feel like Cragamore Twelve has a little bit of smoke. So maybe there's a little bit of that in here or something similar to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's good. I like it a lot. And it actually has, um, <clears throat> it's interesting because it actually has a kind of what the taste would be mm. and uh, what you smell, which a lot of bottles don't have that. Yeah, you don't see so that a lot. So it basically says for taste, um, mellow vanilla with a sp- spicy hints i get that and for nose which is smell of course um zesty orange vanilla honey mm-hmm. and spice oak so see remember we were saying citrusy yeah there's a zesty so, orange. so there's that too. i feel like i picked up the oak more on the taste than on the nose but you yeah. know that hey i mean i smelled the the zesty orange i guess you would say and, yeah yeah or i smelt it <clears throat> but yeah and I smelled the sweetness. I guess that's the vanilla. Right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The sweetness you were talking about, I'll bet you that's yeah. the vanilla all day long. So is this a, a pricey bottle? No. Um, it was like 30 bucks where I bought it. I, I'm i sure you can get it for even less than that in a lot of places. Um, but yeah, when I bought it, it was about, it was like 30 bucks. So it's not, it's not that pricey. Um, yeah. I think if you go to like Total Wine, it might be like in the mid to high twenties. Okay. But yeah, it's not. This is good. This is this is worth. This is worth every. Every. Uh, <laughs> so. Every penny. It says imported by William Grant and Sons, 
New York, New York. Yeah. So that's probably who distributes it for the states. Oh, okay. It's nice. Because it is a scotch, so obviously it's made overseas, but yeah. you can buy this here in the states. Someone has to import it. Don't be a drunken monkey. Drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know what? If you like sipping drinks, yeah. I, I would I would recommend this. Definitely. Yeah, I, I haven't tried on the rocks because it's, of course, our our first time drinking it, really. Yeah. Um, so, maybe in the future we'll come back to it with... I know scotch you don't really mix with anything, but we'll, we'll try it on the rocks. Yeah, this is definitely one that you can just like pour and sip on. I don't think this is going to be the whiskey that like, that because you know there's some whiskeys that are just so crazy, especially scotches that are just so crazy and complex, like that's all you want to do. Like you want to just sip it and just like have that be the focus. And this is really good, but I don't think this is that kind of whiskey. I think this is the kind of whiskey that you can introduces to new whiskey yeah introduces to new i guess Scotches. scottish whiskey yeah but i think this is also the kind of whiskey that you could just pour yourself some and you know whatever you're doing if you're you know reading a book watching tv just hanging out with friends uh smoking a cigar whatever the case may be i think this is just a whiskey that you can just drink it's really good it's really nice um but you know it's not going to distract you from you know what else is going and, on around you i mean this is basically uh, closest to first impression that we've done so mm -hmm. far. I mean, the other ones we've tried uh, numerous times. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we, we already have already not a mindset, but we already have like an idea of what it tastes like before. But this is basically like, yeah. That was our review and opinion on Monkey Shoulder. And again, guys, these are our opinions. All the reviews that we're doing so far is just our opinions. That doesn't mean anything. That just means that we. So that's just what we think of the whiskey yep. if you have a different opinion that's perfectly fine if you like it more and like it like it less that's perfectly fine as well you certainly can let us know um, yeah saying like oh you know what i like this one better i like that one better but that's... yeah let us know down in the comments what you think of monkey shoulder uh is there a way you mix it that comes out really good do you like it on the rocks neat with soda whatever the case may be let us know down in the comments and uh, mm -hmm. you know maybe we'll try that out in a future video yep We'll see you next Wednesday on our next whiskey, and bye. Bye.